There are four basic types of casting methods. There's the sand casting method, there's the investment casting method, there's die casting method, and then there's us, the permanent mold casting method. Permanent mold casting is closer to the die casting surface finish, but you're getting a lot closer to a sand casting cost. Our piece price is typically more competitive than you'll see in a sand casting because every time you create a sand casting, you have to recreate that mold. Whereas in permanent mold casting, it is a permanent mold cut out of steel. Sand castings are used when you want cheap tooling and you don't need a lot of good quality surface finish and tolerances are more wide open. Sand castings, they'll get variation from part to part. You can definitely have gassing issues in sand casting. Die casting is for high volume products. So if you are an automotive guy and you're using hundreds of thousands of parts, you gotta do die casting. If you're making a whole bunch of knobs for your, your kitchen sink, that type of stuff, that's all die casting. That's when you're spending a boatload of money on a tool up front, but you're expecting a really cheap piece price. Our tooling in permanent mold is typically a fifth of what die casting would be. Tooling costs for all four processes. The cheapest is gonna be sand casting. Uh, investment castings are not that expensive tooling wise. Die castings are the very most expensive. Very automated, cooling, long lead times. You know, 50, 100, $200,000 for a die cast mold is not out of this world. Investment casting can cast any alloy. That's their, uh, that's their sweet spot. So you can cast ink and nail, you can cast stainless steel, you can cast aluminum, you can cast iron. The problem with investment casting, it's a very expensive process. They make and break a shell every single casting. So your piece price is gonna be significantly higher. So permanent mold is good for moderate volume, nice size castings, not tiny stuff, pound to two pounds, up to 100 pounds. You use permanent mold when you want precision and repeatability, when you want a good surface finish, and you're trying to get the most uh, benefit from the alloy. We're one of the few foundries in the United States that can pour zinc and aluminum in the permanent mold process. How do you choose the casting method? Send me the drawings, send me the models. We're the experts. We do castings 24 hours a day, six days a week, We'll look at your drawings, we'll look at your models, and we'll tell you, yeah, that's a good part for us, or no, that might be better as another process altogether, and we might even recommend somebody, but let us help you.